Welcome back everybody, Alexander here. So this video series is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do, but it's still gonna be a tutorial type of video, so don't worry. Now, what I'm planning to do is to take a look at various interesting projects made by people more creative than me and giving my best in trying to recreate them as accurate as possible, but also studying the workflow, the design and overall taking a look behind the scenes of the entire strategy and planning of the project. Let's get to work. So this week's project is made by Janky Hong, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, and a really cool part of this project is this animation. It's actually a cube with three sides and every side has the word go on it. So let's try to bring this in After Effects and I'm giving my best to, to recreate this and study a little bit the workflow and so on. So here we are in After Effects with that video from Behance. So let's try to analyze this a little bit. First of all, we can see that we have three words and these words are, are forming a cube, so we have to make the, the text layers 3D. We have to put this in 3D space to, to achieve that. And to make this easier, we're gonna create an additional null layer, and to that null layer, we're gonna link these three layers. So that will be easier because in that way, we don't have to play with the properties of the every word separately. So we will link the, these three layers to that null object and then we will play with the position and the rotation of that null object. So that's the first thing and that will be basically all. But before that, what I want to say is uh, you can see that the animation stays in the middle the whole time. So first of all, we have the word go, which is in the middle. Then the second word appears and the animation is still in the middle. And then the third word appears and the animation is still in the middle. So we have to play a little bit with the position because if you don't, if we don't play with the position and only with the rotation, we're not gonna be able to, to have the animation in the middle for the, for the whole time. So let's try to, to recreate this as best as possible. So I've created a new composition and let's begin by making a new text layer. Let's write the word go and let's put this in the middle and then snap it to the left side, then duplicate this with Ctrl D and then snap it to the right side. Okay, so we can see in that original video that the second word it's starting from minus 90 degrees and then it rotates clockwise so first of all let's make the layers 3d and then press air for rotation and let's put the y rotation to minus 90 degrees but you can see that it rotates from from the middle and we want it to be rotating from the left so for that let's put this anchor point in the in the left part you can move the anchor point with this with this pen behind tool. All right, and let's rotate this now to minus minus 90 degrees. Okay, now what you have to do is create a new null object. Let's put this null object in the middle of the composition and then make it 3D and then select the first word and the second word and link this to the null object let's also rename this to go left and this one to go right go right okay now let's press air on the null object and if we change the y rotation it rotates exactly like in the video so let's go forward 10 frames let's put a keyframe on the y rotation then go 30 frames, put another keyframe and let's change this to 45 degrees. So now it's starting from here and it rotates clockwise to 45 degrees. So what you have to do next is create the third word which will be on the top. 
and and then uh, we want to create a little bit of space between the words because our, uh, the words are too close to each other so let's start with this now let's create the third word new text let's write also go let's hide the first one and the second one and let's rename this to go top okay now let's put this in the in the middle of the composition let's also center the anchor point in the middle of the word and now let's make it 3d and let's rotate this to minus 90 degrees minus 90 degrees okay and now we can't see the word anymore so we have to change the view uh, the view to the top view so for that let's change this to four views top and then we have the top view here in the left top part of the screen all right so now let's also activate the go right and go left and let's hide the null object so you can see that we have here the first one which is this line and the second one which is this line and we want to put the word uh, the word go to be aligned with the first two so for that let's press p and let's move it on the z axis and also let's change the z rotation to minus 45 okay and then move it a little bit upper something like that okay so now we have the third word in the top and let's now take care of the of the animation but before that let's make the separation between the words so let's take the first one press p4 position and let's move this to minus 10 pixels and then the second one let's press p again and let's move this to plus 10 pixels okay so now we have a bit of separation and let's take this and we can see that it's not actually in the top so let's move this upper something like that all right and now let's take care of the animation so first of all let's take this top layer and let's put this below the null object let's activate the null object and let's link the top layer to the null object and now when i rotate the null on the x you can see that it rotates like a cube so go 10 frames forward put a keyframe on the x rotation go 30 frames forward and then let's switch this to 45 degrees okay and now go again 10 frames and let's put a keyframe on the x and on the y rotation go 30 frames again and then we have to change the x to 90 degrees and also the y to 90 degrees okay so we have the animation but you can see that the animation is not in the in the center of the composition so we have to take care of this now so we have to make this animation to be in the center all the time so for that let's create first a new text layer and we're gonna use this as a reference let's hide the original one and let's put this in the center let's snap it to the left and also let's subtract 10 pixels and yeah it's in the same place as the original so let's rename this to go reference okay and now i'm gonna take the anchor point of this and i'm gonna move this to the to the center of the composition and then i'm gonna align this in the center so now we have the position 1060 so for that i'm gonna unhide the original layer and 
on the null object. I'm going to press P for position. I'm going to put a keyframe here and another one here. So first of all, I'm going to write 1060 here. And now it's in the middle. So we have this in the middle as it rotates. It's also in the middle. And now we have to change again the position because it's not anymore in the middle. So let's see what we can do. So first of all, let's change again the, the view to one view because we don't need the other views anymore. So let's put a keyframe on the position here and a keyframe here. So now let's increase this to something like 636. Okay. Now every time the animation it's it's in the middle and we have to change the position one more time. But a thing to remember is that let's not forget that we changed the the position for the top word. So this one is actually further away than these other two. So we have to to make this closer when it comes to the front. So for that Let's take the top P here for position, put a keyframe and the keyframe here at the beginning. And now when it comes into the front, it has to be 49 closer to 50, something like that. It's not really uh, much of a difference, but if we want to make this seamlessly, uh, we should take care of everything. So let's put this in the center. For that, let's again activate the reference layer. Let's hide the top one. And for this reference layer, I'm gonna put this again in the center. I'm gonna snap it to the right and I'm gonna put this plus 10 pixels to the right. Okay, now I'm gonna take the anchor point and I'm gonna snap this to the center of the composition and now I'm gonna align this and I'm gonna copy the position. Now I can hide this and unhide the original one and let's put a keyframe on the position, another keyframe here and as it rotates it has to be this position. So now it's the animation it's in the middle every time and one more thing we have to take care of it's actually the the parts of the cube that are visible when they shouldn't be so for example right now they shouldn't be visible but they should starting they should start to be visible uh, as it rotates so let's take care of this also so first of all, let's take the right layer, let's press R for rotation and let's put a keyframe on the Y rotation and here another keyframe. So let's change the, the value from 90 degrees to something like minus 87. Okay, and this layer should also start from here and the top layer should start from here so let's put to this a keyframe on the X and another keyframe here so this should be at first about about minus 87 something like that Okay, now the sides are invisible when when they're not showing up. So let's also hide this here. Uh, we have the the right layer. Let's put a keyframe on the on the orientation. Then another keyframe here and this should be something like this okay and 
here it should end and let's also change the left layer let's put a keyframe on the on the orientation here and another one here and let's change the orientation to something like this and this should also end here all right so so i think that will be basically all but before that let's take all the layers and close this down and let's press u to reveal only the properties with the keyframes and now let's select all the keyframes right click on this and keyframe assistant and easy is for a smoother animation so let's hide the title action save and the rulers and let's see how it looks yeah i guess it looks pretty good you can see that the final word is not exactly in the same place like the first like the first one but if you play uh, a little bit more with the keyframes and the values you can obtain a, a perfect transition from the last one to the first one so that will be all if you like this type of videos let me know in the comments and i will make more maybe you can leave some really interesting projects and I'm, i will try to recreate them so yeah thanks a lot for watching and see you soon bye